Hey yo, happy Thanksgiving. This is Mark, Dots of Man Diecast, coming at you on Thanksgiving Day. Hope you're all out there eating turkey and chicken and ham and tacos and in my case we had barbecue. It was really good. It was delicious. Pulled pork. Pork belly. I was going to say pork butt. I was like, what? Pork butt? Pork rear? No, it was pork belly. And uh, yeah, it was good. We just uh, didn't have a big family get together. It was just me and Kimber this year. So it's just kind of low key. Some sick family members. So just, just doing our own thing, you know. So I hope everyone had a, a phenomenal Thanksgiving, uh, you know, and uh, that you got to spend it with family. Family, you know. So yeah, um, just wanted to do a podcast real quick. I have no idea what about. It's one of those. I don't know. Um, just, I've been seeing some really good content on, on YouTube lately. And, uh, you know, I'm proud of some people out there. You know, like Eddie posting pictures. Eddie at Simple Customs. Uh, his his accent kills me. He's like he's like the godfather of a diecast. I mean, all these scalpers out here that everybody's trying to do something and, you know... You know, one, two, three of them, I don't know. So, I love Eddie. I love his, uh, I love his work. I love his personality. Uh, I just, uh, like to congratulate him on posting some videos. And somebody else I'd like to congratulate is my beautiful fiance, Kimber. Posted her first video today. I've been, I've been bugging her like every day. I'm like, you know what's, you know, Thanksgiving's a great day. It's a great day to post your first video. So, um, she surprised me and she made a little short video today and posted it on YouTube on her account because I've been telling her like, you're going to be really great at, at posting, you know, videos about, I don't know, food, organizing, cleaning. Um, she's great at all that stuff. She's great at organizing like projects and she's just much more organized than I am. So, I mean, she could make videos on how to organize Hot Wheels um, and I think you guys would really enjoy that, you know, and I think, uh, once she starts posting videos that she, she enjoys, cause she's really good at like g- video design and she made my dots and man diecast logo and she put together my merch website. So she, she's good at like everything. So yeah. So I think a lot of your guys' wives would really enjoy watching her channel with uh, like meal prep and all she does all that stuff so she's she's really talented so i'm like you need to share this with other people you're funny you're beautiful you smell nice i think i think you should share this with other people you know they can't smell you via youtube but you know i can so yeah so there's that so i'm really proud of her like truly proud of her because i've been like just harassing her to where she's like finally fine i'll just i'll make a video so she did that today. Um, she's started with three subscribers today, and now she's at like 12 or something like that. So congratulations, baby. You're doing it. You're doing it, Peter. So, yeah, so it was a, it was a good day. It's kind of low-key chill. Yesterday I had a migraine all day long, most all day long, probably after like 10 a.m. or something like that, so... I was uh, not feeling it at all. So I was supposed to do a podcast with Bruce Zolo, the homie, the famous Bruce Zolo. And, um, you know, non dice cast people, if they're listening, it's like, who's Bruce Zolo? You don't know who Bruce Zolo is? He is BZ. So we'll get, uh, we'll reschedule that. Hopefully do that soon. And I'll get uh, Mustang Hunter on here as well. And, uh, yeah, there's a few other people I like to get on here. But, you know, no rush for anything. It's just... We got nothing. We got nothing but time, you know. Hopefully, but hope you're all thankful for what you have today. The roof over your head, the food in your belly. Um, I just encourage you guys to think about, you know, just make sure all you guys are giving to your local charities and and donating either like time or money or toys. Toys for Tots is coming up here for Christmas time. Toys for Tots. Um, there's another company out there that buys, um, that I'm going to be doing another raffle for, charity raffle, um, for 
Gosh, I've got I've got to re I've got to put up the Chevelle again. That J J D C. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome. But uh, sorry, I just have to like turn away from the mic, or else I'm gonna blow it up. But uh, he uh, made a custom what sixty uh, sixty six Chevelle, something like that, and uh, that thing's awesome. So um, Silent Sue um, on. I think he's on Instagram and he's also on YouTube. I just haven't seen him around much, but I think he's been busy. But he um, he won it and he and he gave it up to to. He said, you know, put it back up. Let's raise a couple hundred more bucks. So I appreciate that, buddy. I sent him some merch because that's a stand up thing to do. That's that's a man right there. That's a that's a good guy. So yeah. Um, so we're gonna do another raffle and this other company that I'm talking about or charitable organization it basically buys up any anything on layaway at like target and walmart and stuff that's still a thing so yeah so just give to your local communities or give to toys toys for tots or hit me up if you're looking for somewhere to to give some money to um because now is the season to give um toys for tots is a really good one drop off you know some some hot wheels there Maybe a small case or whatever you can afford, you know. Something is always better than nothing, for sure. So, yeah, I just, uh, I'm curious to to know basically what kind of, uh, what kind of gifts you guys are looking for for Christmas. If you guys want to write that in the comments below, um, not that I'm going to send you guys that, but I will pass that along to Santa Claus, um. And uh, I know that most of you guys have been pretty, pretty naughty, so you're probably not going to get them anyway. So I don't know if there's much point to write it down. But, you know, go ahead. So, um, and then also another thing, um, I'm going to try, I'm trying a new program. It's the program that I use to make beats. Uh, last couple of videos have my, my new beat up. Um, if you look at Mustang Hunter's videos, he uses my beats or the one that I sent him last, and uh, just kind of starting to get back in that a little bit. It's time-consuming, but I do enjoy it when I have time. And, uh, and in that way, I can make longer ones, like this last one is 20 minutes long, so I can just throw that on a hunting video and set it and forget it. So don't just have to use the sample ones that are like five minutes long max. Um, just make my own and make them like super long. So that's that makes it like super easy to do. Um, if you If you desperately need one let me know and i will try to put you on the list to get that um you know figure out what you need something basic no no worries but let me know what you need and uh i'll let you know if i can or can't if i have the time or not but you know i always try to help people out so i'm gonna try to be doing um on that there's podcasting on that so i might do some podcasting on that still goes to spotify and there's video video chat uh, I was trying to use it yesterday, but it was really echoey when I was talking to Kimber. We were trying to do a test run on that. So technology is always not super fun. A lot of like the streaming services, like video streaming on YouTube, and some of the streaming services are just not user friendly. Very difficult to use. Um, they're just over technical. Like I wish a company would just make a podcasting or live stream software that's just click it like just basically like i just said with the the long beat set it and forget it i wish um i wish it was like that but not so much so yeah i also feel like i never finished the story of uh me collecting hot wheels um before so i'm gonna try to remember where i left off with that uh basically um, I think I left off with what, like, who got me started, and I will say that most, I mean, most, definitely the most, the person that's most responsible, my buddy Rob, um, and he would, because he would hand me, like, he'd, he'd hand me cars every once in a while, and then, you know, I'd pick one up here and there from who knows where, maybe the store or whatever, but I wasn't, really wasn't into it that much, but then... Once I started finding, like, the Datsuns, and I realized there was a Datsun, like, a huge Datsun craze on these Hot Wheels, and how many there were, then I was like, okay, I gotta start, 
start buying some of these and then finding them online and just all of a sudden I've got a handful then I've got two handfuls three handfuls I've got 50 I've got 100 I got 200 so basically I mean I'll say that Rob my buddy Rob got me started on them and he's he's a he <laughs> we call him like fantasy Rob he likes fantasy cars a lot but he also has good taste in like Japanese cars and stuff like that RLC and uh but yeah he's uh he's a funny dude but um yeah once i got into the like once i discovered all the dotsons like i was really got on fire for for hot wheels and uh derek definitely got me into hunting more than i did before because i was just kind of a i wasn't an avid hunter i got him into hot wheels of course but then he really got into it jumped right into it full force but he got me into hunting more than I, I hunt quite a bit now and um you know to learn where where all the places that hot wheels are because it's pretty extensive you know just beyond walmart and target and stuff gosh i am so jealous a lot of you guys have dollar general though because I'm hearing all these people be like, yeah, I ordered a case and I bought the whole case. You know, and they just scanned them or I just got 144 that's bought the whole case. I'm like, I can't do that because I don't have Dollar Generals around here. And the Dollar Trees that I have around here are pretty terrible. They mostly just have either no die cast or a couple Matchbox or just some some crap, really crappy die cast I've never heard of. You guys know what I'm talking about. Dollar Store Die Cast. <laughs> that's a great channel name. Dollar Store Die Cast. Mark coming at you, Dollar Store Diecast. How's it going? Um, I wouldn't be a very good channel just because not unless it was Dollar General, maybe. But yeah, not, there's one down south in the very like in Vancouver, Washington, but it's way down there. It's very far from me, so I've only been there like once or twice, just passing through. But yeah, the dollar stores around here are pretty terrible. We don't have um, there's like a five and below stores. I think I've seen a couple of those, but those don't really care much, carry much Hot Wheels. They started out a little bit, but I don't think they do much anymore. So, yeah, um, once I got into collecting, I got pretty hardcore into it, especially like Japanese Japanese cars, uh, JDM. I do like the old Chevy trucks. I like Bel Airs. I mean, I like I like everything. I mean, a true car person likes everything: Camaros, Mustangs, all kinds of cool things. So. Yeah, I like a lot of cars. I like Zamax a lot. Um, Super Treasure Hunts I do like a lot. I think I think most everybody does. Some people don't like Hewitt's. He's like, man, they're just like, the paint jobs are a little bit better. But it's like, it's like the wheels are just like swapped wheels, still got a plastic base. I mean, I could do so much better. I don't know. I, can, I just, I mean, uh, you know, I'm just kidding. So, yeah, Hewitt's goes off on rants. And I can just, I, whenever Hewitt's goes off on rants on, on Super Treasure Hunts, I can just see Derek, like, watching his video just kind of scowling at him like what are you talking about super treasures are amazing you know so Derek at honest diecast because he loves super treasures but you know he's got to collect them all gotta gotta catch them all so yeah i do like those too i i'm not a huge uh treasure hunt fan a lot of times because i just don't i don't think they're that great there's some cool ones like that what 67 camaro there's a the dodge viper um there are some cool treasure hunts i'm actually looking at both of those right now they're hung up on the wall but yeah i wish they would come up with just like a i know they come up with a super treasure hunt dots and 510s but it'd be nice to have a just a treasure hunt 510 that'd be nice um might have a shot at actually finding one of those because finding one of the super treasure hunt 510s is is pretty difficult in my area i'd love to i mean i think um, Derek gave me one, but I would still love to find one. I would freak out because up until a few weeks ago, I had never found even a mainline one. They were so heavily scalped. So it was, it's been very frustrating trying to find Dotsons lately. But lately, I've been I've just kind of been on a kick on like eBay bidding on Dotson 510s, and I've won a couple. I've, I'd like to buy lots. Um, and I just bought that shorty. I just whistled right there. Shorty. Uh, I just bought that shorty um, 102, the first edition 510, the, sh the short card, which those are very rare. And then um, I have a Snowflake one. Um, there's a different wheel variation. I really want the Target 2-pack, 
with that same car. I just missed out on that. I once sold for like 40 bucks on Mercari, and I was like, like a couple days ago, I was like, oh, I gotta, you gotta really keep looking on some of those sites, almost on a daily basis. Otherwise, you can you can miss some of those good deals because that was a good deal. But yeah, there's a two pack. Um, there's a bunch of different variations of five tens. It's it's pretty exhausting just to think about how many of them there are there's a bunch of convention cars they've done so many years of conventions for the 510 i mean like i said before i think the 510 and the gassers are definitely the most popular hot wheels in the world um and some of the older red line cars but people go nuts over the 510s and uh i wish they didn't honestly because i'd own a lot more because there's so much money they're so popular I want them, regardless of how much money they're worth or how rare how rare they are. I just I want to find all the five tens. <laughs> so, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna focus from I'm um, you know once I move here, I'm gonna try to buy less premiums, buy less main lines, and focusing on um, collecting more of the rare five ten stuff. Some of the convention cars, Mexico convention. I have the Brazil convention, um, the Japanese Moon Eyes. Kewitz made me two customs, right and left, for the Japanese convention Moon Eyes 510. And I guarantee you they're better than the, the real car. So, But they're loose, and uh, they're amazing. But I still would like to have the Hot Wheels version, because I gotta. And, you know, there's a lot of different variations that I don't have um, for 510s, but... Yeah, there's I think there's one there's a one wheel variation for the first the first basic one, the 102, the blue 102 with the red stripe on it. There's one wheel va- variation that goes for like over $1000 because it like so rare the the variation of wheels. So I don't I'm not paying $1000 for a for a 510. It's not going to happen. So I don't know, I'm kind of waiting for like Maybe some of those to crash if the economy... <laughs> I'm just waiting for the economy to crash so I can buy some more 510s. <laughs> it's like, no, Mark, don't wish that upon us. I'm like, I gotta get those 510s, bro. So, yeah, that's what I'm after. You know, my first... Uh, I think uh, Honest Diecast, Derek's first custom was a Momo two-door 510, and I bought it from him. Um, it's got a roll cage. It's got the TE37 wheels on it, black. Um, it's very detailed. This is his first custom, and I have it. So, is it ever going to be for sale? Ever? No, no, not for ten thousand um, dollars, because that's my that's my best friend right there. And uh, yeah, I really, really love that one. And he made me a Porsche one too, that I love as well. So. Yeah, I've just been, I've gotten some cool customs lately, you know, keep, just uh, keep talking about Eddie's monster truck because that thing's sick, and uh, I love that Seafoam Green, I would love to have another Dotson 510, that Seafoam Green, I had one many years ago, that was definitely the sketchiest car ride home from Vancouver, Washington, I bought this little Seafoam Dotson 510, I think it was a... Uh, I want to say it was a 1970 two-door, and uh, it was a rust bucket, seafoam green. It had like a welded-on like uh, flute as a shifter, had a little diesel flapper in the back on the exhaust. And we went down there and checked it out, and it was a little rough, uh, a little bit, lo- I mean, a lot more rough than we thought it was. Floorboards were pretty much gone, barely there. Needed a lot of work, but I still ended up buying it, and it didn't it didn't run that great. It had the little uh, L16 in it, like single carb, but uh, we drove it home. It was it had zero suspension in it. It was uh, not even cut springs. It had no springs. It was running on butt bump stops, and I got into Seattle, and it has like these just terrible like grates, metal grates, and I was hitting those, and my fillings felt like they were coming out of my mouth, or just coming out of my teeth, like it was like, boom, 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 and uh, and it was pouring down rain sideways, and you just have these old school wipers that are like, and then you're just like, oh my gosh, I can't see anything, the car starts uh, l- like lurching, 
like surging on and off like and then so we're like just coming into seattle it's raining there's no shoulder we had to pull off me and my buddy paul my hot like one of my uh my dots and homies long time buddy one of my best friends and we have to pull over it's like the battery is like zip tied or like bungee corded there but it's like moving around enough to where it pinched the the fuel line and so we had to like jerry rig it use some zip ties to get the hoses like (laughs) to be round again so that we could get home but i was like surging off and on home and made it all the way into like Edmonds, and gosh that was what that was a white knuckle driving you know teeth clenched um white knuckle driving and uh yeah i think i lost a year of my life in stress with that situation but Ended up selling it to uh, to a guy in Montana, and then he eventually moved down to Arizona and got a different one. But literally, like when you go to sell one of those things, I just had a for sale sign in front of my house on it, and his buddy like drove by and then called him, and then he drove from Montana. So big following for those cars um, nowadays. That was probably like five years ago, something like that, five to seven years ago. But yeah, that car was that car was terrible. Yeah, I've owned some pretty uh, pretty beat up Datsuns, but the one that I have now is beautiful. It still needs some work, um, needs some work on the rockers and stuff like that. But there's a lot of money into that, and there's a lot more money to put into it. So, but it's worth it, you know. Um, and it's um, it's a little death trap. I mean, it's very scary. It's a little rocket ship, 350 wheel horse, 289 torque, 2,000 pounds, and pretty good sized turbo spools up quick so that thing is uh it's nasty it's got a dump pipe open wastegate um it's running on 12 pounds of boost as well so it's capable of five or six hundred horsepower fully built cams rods pistons um everything evo injectors uh standalone fuel management sister system sista sorry it's been a long day um so yeah, I mean, I love five tens. So of course, I'm gonna collect the the Datsuns. Um, I gotta I gotta get them all. So I just need to kind of focus less on the main lines and premiums and start picking up some more dots and stuff, more rare dots and stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't know what you guys are collecting right now or what your main collection is. I think I, I did a post recently about where you're from and what you like to collect, and I really like the response from that. A lot of a lot of responses. So. Yeah, but in this, you know, in this podcast, write down what what you're looking to to get for Christmas, and I don't know, maybe one of us will send it to you if you're lucky, if you are good. So, um, I'm just gonna end this one about 25 minutes because uh, I gotta get back to it, get ready for work tomorrow, Friday. I work Friday, then I'm off Saturday, Sunday, so I just go back to work for one day. So that's kind of nice. I wish I would have taken it off, but whatever. It's Black Friday, so it's going to be an absolute madhouse at the dealership. But, you know, when you're ready for it, then it's a little easier. So, so yeah, uh, my best advice for you guys today is to be kind, to start a channel if you want to start a channel, post a video. There's some people that that I know that I'd like to post um, some videos. Um, David, a.k.a. Danny Taylor. I hope he's listening to this because he's got a large collection. He's got a shipping container full of Hot Wheels. And then he's got a lot of loose ones. But I, maybe he could just show us his loose ones. You know, and uh, I don't. he's like, I don't even know how I'd do that. Well, let me know. Let me know if I can help. Maybe i got to fly over there and help you. I don't know. Or do a Zoom call or something. I don't know. But we'll figure it out. But yeah, some of you that uh, have some really cool cars, I'd like to see you post some videos about the cars you don't have to share your face or whatever if you're shy you know i'm super shy i mean you guys know me i'm a shy guy not but uh yeah people are shy but if you ever had the urge to to do it just just do it and i'm proud of kimber again for posting a short video today super cute i loved it she's wearing a dotson shirt that i bought her so I love you guys. I hope you had a marvelous, blessed Thanksgiving. Um, I hope you're uh, able to, you know, still button your pants after today. Didn't eat too much. 
And I hope you guys have a great Friday, great day at work, or maybe you got the day off and you can relax. I love you guys. I love my Hot Wheel homies. Peace out. See you in the next podcast. Good night.